Economic Affairs Minister Dato Sri Muhammad Azmin Ali has confirmed that Tan Sri Muhammad Baki Saleh will take over as chairman of Felda starting this Monday. Baki will succeed Tan Sri Megat Zaharuddin Megat Muhammad Noor, who put in his walking papers earlier this week. Megat's last day on the job will be June 30th. In a statement today, Azmin says that the PM Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad has agreed to appoint Baki as Felda's chairman for two years, effective from July 1, 2019 until June 30, 2021. Azmin says he is confident that Baki possesses the leadership skills to continue the effort in restoring Felda as an agency capable of maintaining the settlers' dignity and guaranteeing its sustainability. A well-known corporate figure, especially in the plantation sector, Baki had earlier this year announced his intention to retire from Saim Darby Plantation after serving the group for nine years. MACC's new Chief Commissioner Latifa Koya calls the graft charges being faced by AMNO President Dato Sri Ahmad Zahid Hamidi as serious offences for someone who was formerly the Deputy PM. Zahid is facing approximately 40 new charges involving a total of 47 million ringgit in relation to the foreign visa system case. Latifa says that Zahid will face 33 more charges in Shah Alam tomorrow, in addition to the seven charges filed today. Today, Zahid claimed trial to seven counts of receiving huge sums of Singapore currency amounting to 4.24 million to extend the contract of Ultra Kirana, which operates a one-stop centre in China and foreign visa system. If found guilty, he may face up to 20 years in jail and a fine of either five times the amount of gratification or 10,000 ringgit, whichever is higher. Latifa points out that this is not a normal corruption case and that the size of the sum means an impact to public interest. Sign Texas' third quarter FY19 net profit rose 19.2% to 72.88 million ringgit as both its manufacturing and property divisions did better. Revenue grew almost 40% to 828.5 million ringgit and it declared a first interim dividend of 10 cents per share. Group MD Lim Peng Jin says the firm's ability to track commendable progress in the flexible plastic packaging and property development businesses attests to its competitive edge in providing customer-centric products. He adds that the FPP segment stands to gain further traction, with the possible addition of Daibochi's recent purchase of mega plastic and packaging. As for property, Lim says it is poised for growth, with new launches worth approximately 500 million ringgit in GDV, lined up for the last quarter of FY 2019. Scientex also recently bought 526 acres of land spanning Malacca, Rawang, Ipoh and Penang, bringing its total land bank to 3,795 acres. Marseng Group is prepared to spend up to 1 billion ringgit on land acquisitions this year, which may include more industrial land banks in view of opportunities arising from trade diversions as a result of the ongoing US-China tensions. The group says now is a good time to lock in potential good land banks that meets its business criteria given the group's healthy balance sheet and the less intense competition between developers. Group MD Tan Sri Leong Hoi Kam says, the shift to industrial lands is to cater to demand from Chinese manufacturers looking to shift base to Southeast Asian shores. Leong says the company is confident of achieving its minimum sales target of 1.5 billion ringgit this year. At the moment, Ma Sing's remaining GDV and unbuilt sales of 25.1 billion ringgit will provide earnings visibility for the next eight to nine years. Currently, its land bank stands at 2,099 acres. TA Global will be launching two projects in Klang Valley in the second half of 2019 with a combined GDV of 2.9 billion ringgit. The two projects are Alix Residences in North Kiara, which will be launched on July 12th, while TA 3 and 4 in KLCC will be launched in the fourth quarter of 2019. CEO Tia Ju Kim says that the local property market remains challenging, but remains fairly confident about TA Global's products as their prices are much lower than the market average. Tia adds that the company is still actively looking for potential land banks in Malaysia and overseas. Currently, TA Global's land bank stands at 708.88 acres, with the majority strategically located in the Klang Valley. A total of 144.5 acres of land bank in Klang Valley and Johor are currently under planning and development. 
He says the projects under planning are targeted for sales in FY19 and FY20, which has an estimated GDV of 15.6 billion ringgit.